Try painting yourself half black. I painted myself half black one time in Toronto. That is a dumbass thing. Uh, I'll just finish it with this story. I, uh, I was walking down the Hoosier, around the Hoosier Dome, and uh, Pat Patterson and Vince McMahon and Bad News Brown was in there. And they said, could you come in for a second? I said, I said, we want you to wrestle Bad News Brown. And then there was this pregnant silence of about 20 seconds. And I, I could have cut the air with a knife. And I said, uh, and I'm looking at Bad News. And I said, uh, I'm going to paint myself half black. <laughs> got to stick with me here. And Vince McMahon looked at me and said, I love you. Now, the Bad News Brown took it wrong. Because, like, I was born in Saskatoon. <laughs> there ain't no black folk in Saskatoon dumb up to come to a place that fucking cold. So I wasn't thinking that, but Bad News Brown was a great judo player, but just a bland wrestler, and I knew I had 90 interviews to do for him. And I needed something to do. So, so what Vince McMahon did was he got a solution, half black, that wouldn't come off when I sweat and had it made special. And so, of course, I had myself half black, completely half all the way down. <laughs> just for my own entertainment, sometimes I got to entertain myself. So I'm in Toronto, and I go down this big cart, and I'm doing this, because I was trying to dance like Michael Jackson, but kind of got over like it is now, you know, and got in there with bad news, and uh, got back, and the lady came to take the black off. And after five minutes rubbing my cheek, my cheek started bleeding, and then I found out that Andre the Giant and Arnie Spolin poured the solution out. So I'm half black in Toronto, and I went and got shit ass drunk. And I woke up in the morning, and my door was blown right off the whole fucking hotel. There was no door. 